I did a little salt water trick on this on this plug. I got a little bimini twist tied. And what it does, it keeps that hook, well, it keeps the hook from getting all fouled in the line. And what I've done is I've taken this little bimini twist and I've super glued that. And so now that it's it's the line's holding out like this. See how it's not bending down? That's all double line. And that's a hundred percent knot right here. So that's only 30 pound braid, but that's 100% right here. So that's stronger than a regular knot. And uh, it keeps the line from getting under the hook. Oh yeah, I see one break up there. Ooh, one broke. Just past that. I got him. Okay, son, that's what we're talking about. A little couple pound bass. That was so cool. Now, you know, one thing that I also often do on this top water deal, I have a sink already. And that's uh, so important to have a backup because so often these fish will miss the plug. And it's really a big deal having, having the backup to ready to go. Now, our guide is gonna help me land this fish. And that's cool. There we go. That's really nice to have a guide like that to land these fish and keep away from getting hooked. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now I saw another fish break and I'm gonna make a long cast past the point, past the point, way there. That's where that's where the last fish I saw break right there. Let it sit, let it sit to let the ripples die up and again maybe go to five or ten feet around, then twitch it just this light and easy. Light and easy. Switch it again. Okay, let it sit. That little first little part is so important because sometimes you just come up and look at it. And you want to make a gentle little presentation at the first end. Then you can get more aggressive with it. Kind of work it kind of fast. And then after you work it about 10 feet, pause it again. Okay, then again, a big fish might be curious and come up at it. They didn't hit. But matter of percentages. I don't think that a real aggressive pop is what we want. Oh, well, it was, maybe it was. Look at that. I, I, I took it down and I popped it hard. <laughs> See, I don't know thing. I was going to tell you that that's not the way to do it. You know, you don't pop them hard. And yet I popped it hard and what happened? I caught one. So what do I know? <laughs> you know, patterns kind of change from day to day. So what happened yesterday might not be the deal for today. So maybe a more aggressive approach would be better. That's a better fish. Now we're talking close to five, not quite. Yeah, that's a good one, a uh, four pounder. Okay, thank you. Okay, hey, a nice little chunky three or four pounder. That's what we're talking about. Because see, I saw one break there. I made a long cast after I'd, I'd caught that first little one. I saw another one bust out on, on a little tilapia. So there was a second fish ready to bite. But this is a little Rico pop, and it's a small profile, and I saw some of the small tilapia that they spit up in the small shad, and that's basically uh, the size and the profile of, of the bait I saw. So I tried a bigger popper when I got here a couple days ago, and they didn't bite it as well as this size. This size was better. You know, when you're talking about top order, there's about three or four things that are important. One is you got to make a good long cast. Now, I missed that one. He just got off. He wasn't real big. He was kind of small. But a long cast is important. And it's not so much important for that size fish that I just had hooked. It's more important for those great big fish. Those great big fish have hurt a lot of boats, and they're spooky and wary. So if you want to catch a really big fish, you make a long cast. Now, that's a 100-foot cast. And that's what it's gonna take for a really big fish. He doesn't hear us. Now this water's kind of clear. There's another couple big things about top water fishing that you really do need. You need fairly calm water. You know, a lot of wind and a lot of bad rough water is not good for top water, okay, so calm. The main thing about top water fishing that you really need is low light. It's early in the morning. It's also a little cloudy. And so consequently, those conditions are perfect. The third thing that's really, really important about topwater fishing is the water temperature. If it's really, really cold, they're not going to bite at all. You have to have warmer water. I, it's like 70 or 80 degree water temperature, and that's a good, good water temperature. And the last big condition, 
The fourth thing that's really important about topwater fishing is you have to have fairly clear water. If you have muddy, muddy water, they're not gonna hit a topwater well at all. So it's pretty clear, it's pretty calm, water temperatures are just fine, and uh, the conditions are perfect. So I'm ready to catch a big one, and this, I got a heavy duty braid, a heavy duty rod, heavy duty reel, good sharp hooks, make a nice long cast. I'm ready for a big fish.